from Smile Empty Soul here in uh, beautiful St. Louis, Missouri at Firebrand Recording, which is a wonderful studio here, uh, tracking our new record, um, Swan Song, which will start to be released one song at a time here in probably about June, and the whole thing will come out at the end of the year. So keep your ears peeled for it and check it out when it comes out. Hey, it's your favorite comedian, Anthony Rogers, live in his tour bus, yeah, but also, you need to get a beard like this, people have been talking, they, they said your shit looks whack, it looks weird, they can't tell your pronouns, you need, you need to get a beard like this right now, and the only way to do that is by using luxurious bastard beard oil, great smell, great function, great everything, just get this, and there's directions on how to use it if you know how to read. But use the link in the description. Go to the website. Use promo code LEGENDARY. Get a discount. Do it. Thank you. Boom. Hi, I'm Danny from 710 Glass. Come check my shop out. This is our Capone rig. 10 mil joint. Smoke out of his head. I'm AJ over at 710. This is our Puffco selection. This is a Peak Pro. It is completely Bluetooth compatible to your phone. You can control it completely from your phone. Lights, how long you want your session duration, what you want it to burn at. Uh... Hi, I'm Jay at 710. Come check out our large selection of American hand pipes and American made glass. Dude, we have everything. Well, welcome back to the best show in the entire universe. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, we've almost got hundreds of people watching already, so this is a, a big episode. Uh, yeah, if you're from St. Louis, you obviously already know this, and if you're not, you probably did too. Uh, if you're watching this, obviously. Um, we have one of the Battle Hawks, which is St. Louis Battle Hawks, a football team that, I mean, kills it, right, it seems like. And uh, fans out there love it. I mean, I think they have like 70,000 people go to their games, so their uh, <laughs> their games are huge, man. So uh, I'm not going to attempt to say your last name as I put you behind the scenes. Uh, Freedom, how are you doing, brother? I'm doing fantastic, man. How are you doing today? Good, man. Good. Uh, well, so what's it like to be a battle hawk, man? Honestly, it's a really great opportunity to bring Missouri and St. Louis uh, football again, especially I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, so I always like the rivalry between Kansas City and the St. Louis Rams. But when that got taken away, I know that did a lot to St. Louis. So to be able to give St. Louis football back again and give them a you know great show, knowing that we're going to go out there and compete at the highest level, is a great honor. Yeah, uh, people people love your team here, man. Like I think like uh, there's, a, there's a huge culture of people like yelling yelling to call it drunk like after your games everywhere. Like just oh, just kind of ask. Oh yeah, uh, we actually on um, our team kind of took that tradition too. But yeah, that energy that everybody always brings out there whenever whenever we do come to St. Louis is it's contagious and it's really nice. I think uh, I think leagues like yours are really kind of challenging the system. I think like uh, yeah, like you guys have a real chance to like uh, it's it's like in, it, I don't know if you're a wrestling guy, but like it's, it's like in wrestling before when there's always like federations before like WWE took over. That's almost like what football seems like right now. It's like going down to like a couple different leagues and a couple different things, like uh, kind of competing for numbers. And I think like you guys are you guys have a chance to kind of I mean, if, if things like keep going the way they're going, probably replace the NFL like your league you now. I don't know or anything like, about that. But I know this is a great opportunity. <laughs> I know it's just a, I know it's a great opportunity for players who did not make the fifty-three, or players who just really need film to go out there, and showcase that, showcase their talent, showcase that they can play at that level and get a shot. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think it's great. I mean, it's, it's the same thing as like I don't know. It's it's like why I like college basketball more than like NBA is because like I think like. 
you're actually like playing, you know, versus like, I, I just feel like the, it's a, uh, the higher level or whatever terminology, I just feel like that's fake and like the passionless, you know, it just doesn't seem as cool. It just doesn't seem as cool as like uh, what you guys are doing in my opinion, you know? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely understand. I definitely understand. But I ain't gonna lie to you. Broke up with just a little bit. I was going to say something. You, I was like, you oh, agree with me? You're like, no, I didn't say. Like, dude, probably. Like, hey, yo. Uh, <laughs> that's funny, man. No, we're in a bad storm. If you're, I mean, we got a tornado outside. So I like all these tornado warnings and stuff. But it's like, no, it's a crazy, it's a crazy time. Like, uh, but uh, you gotta get the show's gotta go on. You, know? you gotta do the self oh, podcast with it. With complete legends, you can't just like you can't just you know you can't just like not have a podcast with a legend because a tornado here. You know it just doesn't make any sense. Listen, the show must go on. <laughs> That's true, man. So what up? Uh, we talked. We talked a little before, so I don't. I, I, I'm repeating questions. Sorry, but I shouldn't have asked him prior. What is? What is? What is your? What is your uh, workout routine as as a, as a as a football player, man? Like, what does that kind of look like? You know, wake up early in the morning. Treatments. Uh, film. What are treatments? Uh, pretty much like maintenance of the body at the end of the day. We go out there, it's a physical sport in the trenches. I play defensive tackle, so it's not as pretty as, you know, the other positions. So it's always, I'm always uh, making contact with somebody. So maintenance of the body is always important. Uh, watching the film, getting into the details that I need to prepare myself for the game. Then we go to practice. Then we also lift. And then we have film after. Me and myself, I kind of like to get another lift in because, you know, you got to be strong in this game. It's not a game where you can be a boy and just be okay. It's a man's sport. So at the end of the day, going out there, being able to oppose your will on somebody else is always, it's always the best thing to do. Yeah, yeah, you're like the size of a refrigerator, bro. Like a, like a really big refrigerator. I, I don't know about that one, man. <laughs> you seem I don't like know about it, man. That. I, I bet you can stop a lot of people running at you, man. That's gotta be, that's gotta be, that's gotta be crazy, man. Like, uh, it's like a high intensity position for sure. You know, it's it's one of those things. Like the people who know that, like, like you know, if you go to the gym, somebody says hello, and then other people look at you like, "What's wrong with him? Like, why is he so big?" But you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Were you were you always bigger? Did this happen like late in life, or like what happened? Like, were you always like bigger than everybody? Uh, I want to say I was always bigger than everybody. It's actually interesting. So when I came to college, I came in as a tight end, and I was like 225. So I didn't, that's like normal size, that's almost undersized. But then over the years, good dining, a lot of good dining. <laughs> switched over to the defensive side, played defensive end in college, switched over to defensive tackle. And that's what I've been rocking it with uh, since. It's awesome, man. Like, uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, you just gotta eat like what, like double, double meals, basically. You just work out constantly, pretty much, and then to get to be to be big, pretty much. No, it's yeah. You know, if I look back into the days on how much I did eat till now, I'll probably be like, I, I wish I didn't eat as much. But you know, it happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah. I picked up like way more cardio, and I'm like, I feel like the same. I like you're probably you're you're lifting way more than me in your thing, but like. I like go miles on my cardio and stuff. I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm just eating nonstop. I feel like I'm just eating all day, and like I eat like a normal meal. And before I work out, like before I was working out all the time, I I go eat a meal. Now it's fill me up. Now it's like, man, it's like half my meal. I need more food. You know, it's like it's crazy. Like, and you're doing that more. You're probably experiencing that way more if you're lifting. More. Like, what what you you're what are you like? What are you doing lifting wise? I guess like it's just probably way oh, more. Everything. Than what, what's your... Lifting like with lifting, it's you know upper body. Lower body, core, maintenance, small muscles, uh, especially the small muscles. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I'm striking a human being every single play. So if my back's not strong, who knows what's going to happen? If my if my adductors get up, give out, which most guys don't work, uh, it's going to be a bad day. So at the end of the day, it's making sure that my shield and sword is always sharpened. Because the one time I do want to relax. Who knows what's going to happen the next day? So that's, that's how point. I see. That's, a, that's how I approach the weight room. No, that's a great point, man. Did you were you uh were you the same position in college too when you played for Nebraska? Oh no, I was skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> were you like running back or something for for the Huskers? No, I was actually defensive end. Um, oh okay, okay. Then I kind of got 
I was there for the whole Bo Pelini, Mike Riley, Scott Frost coaching change. So it was kind of like one of those things when I got switched to three, four, I realized if I'm going to be surviving, you know, the Big Ten football, I can't be too CC playing four eyes. Yeah, yeah, no, it's crazy. Was it a weird transition from uh, from college to uh, uh, to the Battle Hawks? Like, well, it went from college to professional. So I was with the New York Giants in Cincinnati first. I saw you with the Bengals. You were, you were, yeah. the, you were with the Giants. Also. I saw you with the Bengals. You were with the Giants also. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I first started with the Giants. That was a good uh, experience for me. Um, I had a lot of good people. Me, Dexter Lawrence, we still kick it to this day. Um, we just, you know, hanging out, being good, uh, big kids. Most people would just say that. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. later that year, went with the Cincinnati, walked with them, <clears throat> and then Battle Hawks. Awesome, man. So uh, what's the difference between, like, NFL and the UFL, I guess, like, at this point? Like, what, what kind of differences do you, do you see, like, guys? That's kind of interesting you played both. Well, money is different, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I figured that at least. I figured that, yeah, yeah. But honestly, the most important thing about with the UFL is the opportunity to like. I have the ability. I am blessed to have the coaches that can teach me things that will help me to get to the next level, you know, or get back to the next level where I feel like I need to be at. So that's what this lead is. Want the opportunity to put your film out there and show that you can still play. Also, learn on your weakness because we all have weaknesses. And if you can okay. fix your weaknesses, or the reason why I'm here, because I had a certain weakness that most teams saw. So if I continue working on it and it becomes a strength, then at the end of the day, I have the ability to go back up, play at the level, and, you know, do what I really love to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, it's, uh, so how old are you? Me? Oh, I'm old. <laughs> you look young. That's what's throwing me off. You play for so many teams. I'm like, this guy's got to be older than me. Or the same age, probably. Uh, 28. Oh, you're not old. Holy shit. You're sports old, I guess. But you're not, like, old. You're how old are you? Like, I'm 37. I'm older than you, brother. Yeah, I'm like. Oh, yeah, you got me. <laughs> I'm, like I'm like a decade older than you, bro. That's as I was uh, I, I was, you know, all, all the athletes are like kids to me now, for sure. It's like, you, you, I just. You had a longer history. I mean, you still look young, but I'm like, well, this guy played for two fucking NFL teams and college. I'm like doing the math in my head. I'm like, how the fuck? But 20, no, 28 is uh, still pretty young. I mean, you get another 10 years in sports at least. I mean, I mean, what was Tom Brady, well, he did until 40s, didn't he or something? Yeah, you said Tom Brady. You know what position he plays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. Yeah, fair. Listen, if I can squeeze, if, I can, if I'm blessed to squeeze in another five to seven years, I'll take it because at the end of the day, that like this platform, football is part of the reason why we are even able to talk. So, oh, sure. it's, so it's like I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be here, but I know that there's so much more with it. I just got to take it step by step. I take it, I call it like chapters. Each week is a chapter, and after you know, in the book, next chapter has to be more interesting than the other chapters. I definitely agree. That's a great point. Like great timing for saying that. I feel like I'm at the beginning of like a new chapter too, man. That's, that's cool. That's just real, I saw frequencies work. I guess we're on the same, like similar frequencies where the work. I mean, it's like otherwise it wouldn't. Work, the conversation wouldn't even work. And it's weird to say. But uh, so what? Um, what, what got you into football? I don't know. A cheesy question, but probably a cool answer. Well, what got you into football originally? Like, were you young playing this shit, or you get into yeah, it? Yeah, like, high school college. I was. I was young. Um, big my whole family because actually my brothers, all my brothers play ball. My older brother, we call him Junior. He has a he has a difficult name, but he played football. He was you know really good at what he did. Uh, played offense and defense, and then I came around. Then my my older brother plays football. My nephews my nephews play football. So it's just like this train effect that all my family always play football, and also everybody in my family always plays always played a sport. It's probably our way to staying out of the house. Even though we love my mom so much, but <laughs> you know how that be. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, so what? Uh, so, so your whole uh, that was your sport, or like you played other sports, or like what's? Uh, and, uh, is everybody in your family huge too, or like you guys all like six foot something? So, brother wise, yeah, we're all cracked six foot. 
sisters, yeah, our sisters, you know, they didn't, unfortunately, love them all, but they didn't, they didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everybody's big. Everybody's big. Everybody's on my brother's side. Everybody's. I, I, there was a point where I was the smallest brother when I was like 295. But now I'm a little bit more than that. I'm, I'm like sick in the middle. So, okay. That's crazy. So, did the battle of season start yet? Somebody told me there's already a game that, uh, like, did you yeah, start there yeah, there was a game. Yeah, there was a game. Was that this weekend or something? Yeah. Where were you at? I, dude, I had a rough weekend. I don't want to get into that right now. I, I had a rough weekend, bro. Like, uh, but, uh, but no, I didn't know that even happened. Somebody told me today at like launch. I was like, what? About? I, I thought, I thought it started like after this interview. That's crazy. So, you already started your season, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It That's was awesome. It's definitely one of those games that, like I said, next chapter, get better, be at the, be at the dome. Let it, it's going to be live and we're going to light it up. Were you out of town for the first game then? Oh, it wasn't yeah. St. Louis? No, it was uh, Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Okay, cool, cool. How'd that go? Huh? Did you guys win? I didn't check. I didn't. I just found out you played a bunch. Do you do you know how that one guy who made like a sixty-four yard kick? You ever heard that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he sealed the game for uh, Michigan. It was a great kick. Listen, kudos to him. At the end of the day, it was a great game. Um, but sixty-four yards is special. Yeah, that's uh-huh. that's very special. So, congrats to him, and wish all the best for him. So you guys lost the first game, you said? The other uh, something like that. <laughs> uh, something like that. I'm, I'm, trying, yeah, I'm just trying to catch up. I, was, I, was, I had a bunch of I – I, I had way worse stuff happen. I, I was just like, man, I, I couldn't even – I was like in shock all weekend. I'm just trying to do my job. So I'm like – like, and, I, I and I go to lunch, and I'm like – and like uh, my, my friend's girlfriend's like uh, – he's like, yeah, they already started, bro. I'm like, and I was trying <laughs> – I'm like, I'm like – I'm like I missed the first game and I had to do I, like and then have like a defense dude on the fucking show later. And I was like I was just making fun of how dumb I was for not for missing. I was like, it was, uh, uh, you good? Listen, you come to the home game. You know, you know how it be. We'll, we'll get you. Yeah, yeah. We'll make sure you good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it's a, it's a good environment. I heard now. I definitely check out some some battle hall games. You have the whole. I mean, you guys have the whole area. Just like uh, they're they're hyped about you guys, man. Like you don't. I mean. Like, like I said, I'll be out. I, I do I did comedy a lot in the last couple of years, like in St. Louis, like uh, and I mean everywhere. But like when I was in St. Louis, I would I would I would just like be hanging out somewhere and like dude, all these fans would come in, like wearing battle hawk shirts and stuff. It was just I mean, yeah, there's I, I haven't seen anything like that. I mean, probably since the Rams in like ninety nine, you know, when we had we had a team and they were good. I mean, you know what I mean? So it's like <laughs> like it's just the town loves you guys, man. That's that's just like uh it's cool to see it's cool to see St. Louis get behind a team like that, you know. Oh, definitely. Definitely, that's just, I'm just not, really nice. Yeah, for you especially, bro. You know, I'm just, <laughs> for you, for you especially. But uh, so, what, what was more wild? What, what uh, what fan base was more wild? Like uh, Nebraska Huskers, or like uh, the NFL teams, or like the uh, or the UFL teams? Well, what kind of has a wilder crowd? Ooh, is there a right answer on this one? <laughs> <laughs> not for you, I realized after I asked that. Yeah, I'm like, not for you. You're going to lose no matter what you say because you have that other fan base getting mad at you. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what yeah, I'm like, uh, but. Uh, you can play the fifth. You can play the I fifth. would definitely say, I would definitely say hearing the Husker crowd and hearing the St. Louis crowd just in that dome and just in that stadium, when it's third down, you couldn't hear nothing. I will look to my left, and if my linebacker says something, I'm like, yep. Yeah, I can't hear you. I'll tell me the signal, but I can't hear you. Yeah. And that's I, and that's one thing that we as a defense we we absolutely love that like hearing, making the crowd, making the whole stadium shake, and you can feel it on the field. That's the that's really cool, cool part when you can feel it on the field, and everybody and you can see everybody's just hype. You hear the music playing. It's like you got to make a play. Like you you got to make a play. That's 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 your that's that's it. Make a play. Make the make the fans jump into the stands and also, you know, they might be saying your name. Woo! But then after that, you know, go to the bench. Next series. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's how a lot you it's how a lot of athletes talk. Like I I have like a, I had a guy from the Kings won a Stanley Cup and he's like same kind of attitude you have like this like go getter 
I mean, yeah, it's good for today, kind of attitude, but you got to do it again tomorrow type vibe. It's like, I, I say that with you too. It's like, uh, like, like a, lot of, a lot of winners just have that attitude. You know, it's like, it's like, well, today was good. Like, let's see how tomorrow goes, you know? Like, it's like, good. that's kind of what I see with, in, in like athletes that, that, that win and stuff. Like, I kind of see that in them. Uh, I, I guess. I, I don't have that same mindset, but yeah, I guess. I assume, I just assume because I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I am trying to I'm trying to still kind of like picture them or fathom that thought. I'm like, like the way I see it is this today it's a blessing, it's a present. Take full advantage of it. Tomorrow it's a mystery. So what do you whatever whatever you did today is gonna lead to what you do tomorrow. Great. So if I do everything that I need to do for take my vitamins, do all that stuff, that's gonna lead to my preparation for tomorrow. Great. So tomorrow, if I know I'm set. I'm gonna have a great day tomorrow. Listen, I ate dinner. I ate a healthy dinner. I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have enough energy to go uh, go to practice. Perfect. Yeah, it makes sense. That, that does make sense. Today is a blessing. Yeah, not everybody, not everybody gets that. Now it's, uh, it's definitely uh, it's definitely good to be alive. You know, it's one of those things. Oh yeah. If it's a weird thing to say, but it's true. They were just say it's definitely a blessing. I'm like, yeah. So what uh what kind of stuff you guys have coming this season? Like you, you, uh, you anything you, you guys know about that uh, I wouldn't know about or the public wouldn't know about yet? You remember how to take it day by day? Like <laughs> 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 you like did you just hear what I said? Like, did did you literally just hear what I said? <laughs> I'm, <just, laughs> you know, like, I'm like uh, I'm pretty sure we have. I'm pretty sure that we're going to do some community events uh, when we get to St. Louis. Always good to get back to our city because at the end of the day, out there in front of the dome, I'll give us, you know, three hours of your day just to support us. So I know we're going to definitely do an activity outside of football just to give back to the community. And yeah, if anybody at the end of the day, I don't know. I know there's probably a lot of people watching this, but if y'all happen to be at the game and all stuff. Y'all want me to sign whatever? I got you, you know. Cause again, I, I, I always give back. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it's like I mean, I, I mean, you got you got to give to receive in this world. It's the code of the code of the universe, man. Like, uh, and that's I mean, that's got to be wild. I mean, they, those those stadiums packed out probably like the dome's a magic spot, man. It's, it's had a lot of magic there throughout the years, and I think that um, like Samus loves that spot, and like. Uh, I think you guys replaced the Rams for him, dude. I think I, I think you, I think you guys. I think I think they're so mad at like the NFL in Los Angeles and stuff like that that like they won't even watch the NFL anymore and they'll watch you guys. So I think you know what I mean. I think mean, it's, it's like it's listen, kind of wild seeing that. Listen, as long as you're here to support, that's the only thing we matter. What matters right now. At the end of the day, we're here representing the state of uh, the city of St. Louis, and that's the only thing that matters right now. Yeah, yeah. No people, people get hyped, man. Like. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a good thing. Like, uh, so what? Uh, the championships there this year too, I think, right? The championships. Oh yeah. Oh. So you guys yeah. gotta make sure to be in there, right? Oh yeah, that's it's number one priority. At the end of the day, we're always talking about the small details. Like details matters because at the end of the day, if I am not in my gap, and the ball hits in my gap, and it puts them in position to win then it's my fault even though i might have a great game i might have two tackles three tackles five tackles did all the stuff but that one time i decided to not have the correct details on that one play changed the course of the game you know you can have a great game but if you don't at the end of the day if you don't win people look at the negative you can have a terrible game but if you win they're like listen don't do it again but <laughs> we won. But when you lose, it's one of those things that you look into the smaller details of things. You got to get better at it. You can't make the same mistakes twice because everybody sees it. Not just us as a teammate, people that you play against, but scouts see it too. They see, okay, did he adjust? Did he get better? Was he able to learn from his mistakes? Okay, he was great. I know that he's improving. Yeah, no, that's a good point, man. Like, uh, that's definitely, that's definitely a good point. Like, I think it'd be a big win. I think it'd be a big win for you guys if the championship was here, man. I think that, uh, I think if you guys were in that, that'd be crazy for the sport and like for this town and like the team and like you guys, you know, it's like, I think it'd be, uh, it'd be wild, man. It's like, uh, 
you are you, uh so we're gonna we, we should call right now we should call in april 1st right now that you guys are gonna win tonight, right so whenever uh so whenever uh <laughs> you guys win later. They'll look back at this podcast, but like these two guys. Well, hold on. Did you say it's April first? Let's uh, listen. Let's do that April second. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that, all right? Because you know, April 1st. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, April second. Well, we'll say that, and also, I'm still calling. I'm still calling up analogs win this year. I'm calling. I'm calling it. I right, listen. I don't believe it too. I've been saying that. Listen, saying that since I put my cleats back on. When did you come to the team? Like when did you when did you uh when did you get picked up at the team? I was about from last year. Or when, I, about this? Was last year your first year? Yeah, last year was my first year with the Battle Hawks, and you know we went seven and three, had a really good uh, season. So short, there's nothing that you can do about it. So at the end of the day, it's got to come back this season swinging harder, and that's the most important hey. thing. Yeah, you yeah, there's only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that makes sense. So, so they got you from uh, they, what, what team did they pick you up? They get you from? Oh, we talking about from the league or? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, did you, were you in the were you in the XFL UFO? Were you in that before this the battle loss? The XFL? No, 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 no. You're okay. Wait, so what? What team did you come from again? You were you were in the NFL before this? Yes. Not the Giants. What was the other team you played for? Not the Giants. The second team. Cincinnati. Oh, okay. So the guy you from the Bengals. Okay, that's cool. 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 Yeah, that was a weird way of asking. I was like trying to remember the name of the team the guy you from. So the Battlehawks picked you up from the Bengals, basically. So it's a little more like if you're a free agent or your contract or like if your contract expires, you become a free agent. Once you become a free agent in whatever league, you know, XFL, USFL, NFL, you have the ability to get picked up, or our team has the ability to pick up your contract. From there. But when we catch it, it gets picked up, and that was with the battle. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Like, I, I, yeah, I saw football, man. So I think it's, I just, I, just, I don't, you know, I don't know the behind the scenes stuff. So I was being nosy. Listen, so, man, the behind the scenes stuff is crazy. That's why I, in front of the scenes, that's all I think y'all need to see. Don't worry about the behind the scenes, the political stuff. No, just, just at the end of the day, I'll see you at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. It's gonna be a good year, man. It looks like it's already started. It's gonna be a I think it's gonna be a good year for football, man. So, uh, people, people are hyped, man. I mean, uh, we'll see how it turns out. Like, you'll probably have another pack, pack stadium again. People, people love you guys, man. So, people, uh, people love drinking beer and watching you guys, man. <laughs> that's what it seems like. Well, listen, that's, that's, that's the crowd I see. Listen, there's one thing that I do kind of. I have a, I have a dream. This might be the one, one of the wildest things, but. I, one of the wild things I say is I kind of wanted to do like a, a celebration at the end of the game where I take maybe like some sodas and, you know, drink it, you know, with a, with a, with somebody, you know, celebrate with them and all stuff. Like Stone Cold? Something like that. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's how That's how it seemed to me, man. Like, uh, that's crazy. So, like, uh, what's the? Do you know the origin of the name Battle Hawks? Really? I don't know anything about the name or anything. How how they come about? Do you know that? I'm here to play football. <laughs> <laughs> you never asked. You never asked the name of the, the, the video or I feel like I would if I played. Listen, at the end of the day, there is an origin. There is a name. There is a meaning behind it, right? So I just talk to people, dog. Yeah, At I this point in time in my life, I watch film. I get ready for the. I, I put up the Battle Hawk jersey on. Represents, you know, the team. But honestly, it's just one of those things that yeah. And when I see the word Battle Hawk, I see it like the unit as a team. I see my quarterback. I see my D lineman. I see my offensive line. That's all I see. So that's no, how I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, that's how I'm gonna escape that question. <laughs> 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 no, I was just being there. I, I don't know. I'm from San Louis. I don't know either, man. So I was just, I was just nosy about it. Cool name and like it's better than soccer, man. Like I can't stand so like we have a soccer stadium now, and it's like I don't. Know. I mean, I'm not trying to trash talk, but like I just I can't watch soccer. You know? It's just like too boring. Even though oh, hockey's is entertaining. The same. You, hockey's you like soccer? entertaining. Hockey is. So, so it's actually funny because I went to when I was in New York. I went to uh, USA versus Mexico. 
That's when I got. That's when I got uh, entertaining. That sounds more wild. I go to a USA versus Mexico game versus like a like some whatever the, whatever's going on downtown. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, yeah, I go. I go to like a World Cup or something. Yeah, because that's like you're you're like in their sport doing this, you know, doing the thing. But yeah, I just I, and that's me first. Like, I can't. Soccer's just kind of boring. I don't know. It's like it's it's done. Like, football's way cooler. Like so's basketball. I don't. Know. I just like uh. I don't know. I like I like fast paced sports. Soccer's kind of fast paced. It's boring. I, I I can't. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just European. You know. Maybe that's what it is. I'm, I'm I tell you what it is. Sometimes I'll be looking at soccer players and hang. Like, hey, y'all running a lot. <laughs> 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 I mean, look at them like he's going back and forth and back and forth. I seen soccer players do their condition. I saw like how they do all their stuff. I respect them. I really do. Yeah. The fact that y'all you know, run. Mm, I got it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely don't. I don't lack respect for them. I, I still think it's entertaining, you know. But, but I think it does, <laughs> like, I definitely did. Yeah, for me, they probably kick my ass, bro. You know, like there's probably several things they're better than. You know, I'm not trying to knock it. You know, like I don't. I think it, there's a collab, and I think like if every, everybody thought like maybe boring, and I'm glad the soccer stadium is back. You know, but it's good for St. Louis. I'm glad people go to it. You know, but I'm just like I just can't. I can't just like sit there and watch it. I don't know what it is. Like so, I just don't know what it is, man. Hey. Football and basketball is their sports now, from my respect. From my perspective. So who you know, do you got? Who do you got going down the last wire? I know uh, Iowa and LSU are playing right now. Who you got? Um, I had Houston. I picked Houston originally, but uh, I don't know if they're even in it right now. I haven't watched in a week or two. I watched the first two weeks and then I just like got sidetracked all this crazy stuff. So I, I put Houston in my bracket at least. Oh, uh, okay. My buddy put UConn. Like, what do you? What do you got? Who do you have? Me? Yeah. Like, part of me wants to stay in the Big Ten because as I play that, so I'm like, man, maybe I should go with Purdue. And they do got that big cat at center. That dude's big. I lied to you. I saw him. It's like it was like watching Yao Ming play again. I was just looking at him like, that's not fair. It's <laughs> yeah. not fair. But honestly, I don't. I'm just really here for the entertainment. Like, no, me too. I, I like. Like I'm, I'm hoping a Big Ten school wins. It's not me just being, you know, saying I don't like SEC schools or winter schools. I'm pretty sure everybody's a great uh, athlete and everybody's uh, expert in their own ways. But you know, sometimes you just got to keep it, keep it in your own conference. And if somebody does that, then yeah, happy for them. Yeah, yeah, no, it's pretty. That's not, that's a good to put it, man. Honestly, I need to think like that. That's uh, that's very positive, and it's it's a cool kind of aspect, man. It's like I, I like people like you seem competitive, but you seem like you're polite, and I think that's that's important in sports. You know, I think that uh, what's that called? Like, like when somebody like uh, sportsmanship, you know, I think that's uh, yeah, no, good sportsmanship. I think that's uh, that's that's awesome to see, man, and hear and whatever other terminology. When when the helmet is off, yeah, that's this is the type of person you're gonna get. When we don't feel like, oh, no, no, really, we, we do not care. We don't. At the end of the day, like, yeah, I'm not going to cross the line and, you know, retaliate. But I'm going to get you the next play. I'm going to get my get back. Like, you might have got me, but I'm going to get my get back. Now, we come off the field and all stuff, tell us off. Man, you had a great game. That's, just, that's, that's, that's interesting. So you just, you, you just turn it off when, they, when you get out of the game, you just turn it off? That's crazy. As soon as the helmet comes on, can't be the same. They just get amped up and slow. Huh? So you just get amped up as soon as you guys get out there? Oh, yeah. That's what awesome, I said. Beautiful game, man. What, beautiful game. What's it like playing at the Dome? That's a huge venue, man. Like, what's that? What's that like? It's like, that's crazy to say. It's like, Adult version of the Nebraska football, and the one dome where the sound doesn't escape. So when the sound doesn't escape, it just comes back down on the field. And when I say the first time I heard that, I think it was like the first time it was a home game. I got on the field, and I'm hearing this is like a third down play. I hear all the sounds. I'm like, I'm looking over. I got the play. Pretty sure someone was trying to say something to me. I said, I, didn't, I couldn't hear him. 
I couldn't. And it's a beautiful thing because now, now I'm just in my own little zone where it's like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta make that play. <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely gotta make this play because everybody's behind my back. It's kind of like the 12th man. You remember, you remember when the uh, Seattle had, uh, well, they still have that, the 12th man thing, right? And the 12th man is a field. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a crowd. They play a huge yeah. factor. They play a huge, huge factor in the game. When they, when the office can't get the calls in, it's because of y'all. Yeah, I bet, man. That's gotta be, that's gotta be crazy. I mean, that, I mean, those stadiums were packed every time you guys had a show. Like, man, it's, or not a show, a game. Sorry, that's um, I'm used to entertainment. <laughs> like, well, your show is great, you know. But no, no, uh, the, 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 it, it is though, really though, kind of. But it's like, it's, I mean, it's the same thing as like, you know, it's the same thing. But you guys are, I mean, you guys are still doing it. It's still a show, but you know, it's but it's sports now. But but no, it's uh. So do you think the NFL is fake? You were in the NFL. Is that scripted? No, it's not scripted. Okay, I hear all these like TikTok rumors, and I just wanted to ask them. I was in the NFL. Listen, uh, I'm not gonna like, say the Chiefs told me it wasn't. Here. I, listen, there is players who do remarkable things, and sometimes every dog has his days, and sometimes it's one of, one of those person's days. Sometimes the rest, you look at the rest, and you might scratch your head and like, what in the world has happened? But at the end of the day, the way I see is this. Um, if you never put yourself in position to be down, it doesn't matter what anybody else does, right? If you're dominated for four quarters and it's 28-0, it's hard for the refs to bring a team back from 28-0. to zero. Now, have we seen this before? Yes, multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like one of those things is like, if I'm playing dominant and I know that it's 28-0, fourth quarter, five minutes, there's no way where you can come back. If the ref those even if the ref throws five flags on me for a personal foul and I'm not even on the field, you still can't come back. So that's how I see it. Now, other people, to each their own. To each their own. <laughs> well, you're, the, you're, the, you're the third guy I've talked to that's been in the NFL and, and you said it's not scripted. So I'm starting to believe it. Is that, is it, it, just, it just seems scripted to me. And like and then I asked all you guys, like the Chiefs said it's not, and like you you said it's not. I believe it. You seem honest, so man. I'm just saying, like, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't seem like a bullshitter. It's almost like, I'm like, I'm like, that's, uh, it's cr- okay. So I mean, I got, I guess it's not. It just seemed like it to me for some reason. I'm not sure why. I think just like it's on. I just think everything on TV is fake all the time. I think, you know. I was about to go into my psych degree. I'm about to say I ha- I, I can tell you like exactly the reason why is because people people's perspectives of how things should be, then it feels like it gets flipped. That's interesting. Because I've never played before, so I'm like, that's not how it works, and like, that's not how sports work. And I've never been. Oh, is that what you're saying? People's perspective. Everybody thought for last year. Everybody thought the oh, uh, who was it? Love them to death. Because I got boys that play for them. Jacksonville. Everybody thought this was gonna happen. What happened? Detroit. Oh, is that graphic? <laughs> right? Listen, the Detroit game was wild in my mind. Wild. Right. Wow, but it just happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I was just curious because, like, I mean, because you, you can, I could think whatever I want, but if I ask a dude, I mean, if I ask a dude doing it, you know, it's like it's, it's you get a better answer you, when you ask the source rather than fabricate and watch the TikTok videos like I've been doing. You know, it's like I always TikTok videos like little Wayne, little Wayne's got a script. He's like, look at this script, and it's like, what the fuck is a football script? And like, but he's also a showman. That, he's a showman too, though. You know what I mean? So it's like. I mean, he's entertainment, so you got, you got to think of like most of the things say, people say entertainment probably fake, and like yeah, uh, believe, so I mean, yeah. Do you believe everything that's on the internet? No, that's why I ask you. No, that's why I ask football <laughs> players. <as well. laughs> yeah, I want to know. I, I want to know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm just like, and I can tell when people are bullshit. Me, you didn't seem like you were, and neither, you neither the Chiefs. So I'm just like, I'm like, okay, so football might be real. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, it's real. Like I said, there might be some head scratching calls, but at the end of the day, it's real. Yeah. Hey, living proof. Hey, living proof is oh, Aaron Donald. She's real. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you not bullshitting me. By the way, your answer—you don't seem—you don't seem like you—you you have a. I don't—I don't know your poker face, but you don't seem like you a guy with a good poker face. You know, you seem like I ain't got a good poker face. I ain't got a. That's one. what it seems like to me. That's what—that's what it seems like to me. 
So yeah, no, it's but I, but no, I think it's, it's, it's interesting because I've always wondered if sports, sports are real because I've never I've never played them. So I always wonder if like um, especially with like the laws being passed for like now they're like sports entertainment or something like that, like how WWE is like some of the so it made me think and like especially like Vegas gambling and all that. I'm like let me think. I'm like we're rigging like Vegas gambling, just saying it's fake. Uh, well, they said it's sports entertainment now, legally speaking. So that Vegas can have a team, right? Like that's I, I believe that's why they did that. And then um, so I just I just overthink constantly. I can't just watch a fucking game. I got to question everything, all right? Like that, listen, that's fine. Listen, that's and listen. That's the reason why you know at the end of the day we go play, and you know we have some people who you know watch the game. You might listen if you if you if you're drinking one, drink one for me too. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, no, it's uh, so. What, where can people see your games and stuff on? Uh, te- do you know where people would see them on television and stuff? Someone's asking that earlier. I believe it's on Fox. It's definitely on Fox. Okay. Is it on Fox? On like, is, is that in St. Louis or is it everywhere? It's people, we probably got people. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's like, everywhere. Yeah. Everybody can watch it. Uh, just know the times of the games, and it's going to be on Fox. And then when it pops up, you're going to see a game pop up. I can't give you. I just know it's on Fox, so I don't know the exact like Fox. Da 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 da. I don't know that. I play. I, listen, I play football. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> play football. That's so yeah. funny. That's so funny, bro. You're like, you're like, I tackle people, man. I don't sell TVs, you know. But yeah, you should definitely be able to find a game there. No, so yeah, someone's asking me earlier, so they play like I. I was trying to. They, they had a real question, but I like uh, it's been a long time. It's been several hours since they told me the question. Oh, there's yeah. something like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, we had a question. <laughs> well, they asked me. They, they asked me when they could watch it because they said, they said something like they only saw half the game or something because it switched. Or so I don't know. I don't know if that's true though. So I don't want to. I don't want to act like that's true. I just heard them say it. like they're like telling me that like only half the game aired or something like that. But I don't know. I like I said this weekend was nuts to me. I had a lot of personal stuff. I was like, I was like, man, I gotta fucking. Still show up to work, you know. I got, I got, I got XFL or UFL. Sorry, I keep calling it XFL. It was called XFL last. Wasn't it just called XFL last year? So there, that was the thing. There was two different leagues, though. So there was the USFL and the XFL. What was the USFL? I never heard. I I heard of the XFL. What's the USFL? So that was primarily Fox's league. They were like, wow, oh, can't think of the team, uh, Birmingham. The Stallion, oh no, no, the Stallions, yeah, the Stallions, Playing Stallions, yeah, down. The um, Michigan Panthers were over there, Philadelphia Stars, teams like that where they were in the USFL. So it was, okay, so, so it, was, it was an XFL USFL merge, basically, then? Okay, that's what the UFL is now? Mm-hmm. Man, you're merging federations? See, that's gonna be crazy, man. Like, that's, uh, yeah, this is getting crazy. No comment. Listen, I'm a, that's gonna be my first no comment. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever you get in, so I got my pressure, you brother. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, just happy. That's, I, that's, gonna be my first, that's gonna be my first and maybe only no comment. <laughs> first of all, first of many, as like I said. But uh, but no, yeah, no, it's it's cool. Uh, to me, it's cool seeing it because like, I don't, I don't know the exact. Fall. I don't know anything about it. To be honest with you. I just heard about it five seconds ago. We told. But I'm just saying, I still think it sounds cool. And I think it's good for like, yeah, uh, it's good for the sport, I guess, to absorb other federations. So I, I'm assuming. I don't know the good ins and outs of it, but uh, seems cool. It seems cool to me. I don't know. Unless you, unless you get paid less, then it's not cool. But uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, uh, man. Like, no comment on the listen on the politics of all that stuff. No comment. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, a, no. just a normal guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it makes sense, man. man. Like, uh, what kind of crazy stuff? Are you, yeah, have you had to deal with like crazy stuff, crazy fans, or anything like that? Do you, do you have any kind of weird stories where like uh, people are just being wild? Oh yeah, all the time. Uh, it was actually funny. That's why I kind of got my stone cold. I saw. Uh, I kind of like at the end of the game, I saw a fan. Of course, he took like two beers and all stuff and did that. I was like, man, wouldn't that be kind of cool if I did that with soda? And kind of did the same thing with the fan and all stuff. And then when I kind of saw that, like that was like at the end of the season, I was like, I need to do that. So if you got like two sprites or something like that and you want to meet me at the end zone, 
Got you. We can create a, we can create a nice little memory right there, you know? Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, fans are great. People from, you know, Kansas City, are from Missouri, are Missourian, <coughs> you could say. But, yeah. And it's, cr it's crazy. It's crazy because I don't technically have my person permanent resident in, you know, Missouri as elsewhere, but they're still everywhere. Everybody's still, oh, you I saw, I saw you play, you know, with the Battle Hawks and all stuff. Could call. I they didn't say it like that, they said it a lot better, but <laughs> it's just really nice that the support system still it's not just in one spot, it's nationwide. That's awesome. So you you'll be recognized where, where no matter what city you're in, basically you're saying? I don't want to say that. No, no, no. So I don't want to say that because I'm a very listen. I am a guy that watches anime, very low key type of guy that just goes goes out there and performs. That's what type of guy I am. Now, if you see me out and about, yeah, say what's up. But not, yeah, you know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. So. That's crazy. No, it's a big deal. I think Battle Hawks are a big deal, man. It's cool seeing that. I hope you guys uh hope you guys win this year, man. It'd be great for the town, great for you guys and stuff. Like uh supposed to be championship in here. It'd just be too it would be too good, man. If you if you guys won the championship this year, with it being here, that'd be crazy. It'd be amazing. Just gotta put in the work. That's it. I don't I don't know how you can live so far away. If I was playing for a team, I'd have to live in that town, I feel like. I don't know. I, 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 well, I'd probably be partying too much, so I, I actually like your method better. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. It's like cause <laughs> if, I, if I lived in the area of my sports team, I'd be I'd be partying the whole time with all the fans. I don't know. I, I don't know how. I, Listen, I, you yeah. find that one bar that has all the St. Louis Battlehawks stuff. You'd be like, I need to go to that one bar every single night. <laughs> That's what it is with the that Blues. Was... Blues are all at Ob Clark's. It seems like, and like I mean, a lot of the. I mean, you can find. I mean, I shouldn't say that a lot, probably, but. It, but it, you, there's there's certain bars everybody's at, you know. I mean, in St. Louis, you see that a lot. Like a lot of the Cardinals in the suburbs, it seems like though. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Listen, I don't know anything about the bars downtown, so you know, I just go from the the place I stay at, then go to the game, and then you know, we out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah, no, yeah, it's probably how you it's probably how you stay you stay uh, focused. You know, it's like. I imagine it'd be super distracting, like being around all the fans and stuff like that. It's gonna be, I mean, all the time, not just like you want to be around them. Not, like when you're around them all the time, you can't escape. It's gonna be crazy, you know? Yeah. Well, like I said, at the end, of, like I feel like for me, when I get to that moment where it's time to perform, like when I tell you, when I put my helmet on, I literally tell myself, I'm not. To, you can't be the same person. I can't be the person that you know talks talks more lightly. I could I'll joke around, but I'm not the same person, especially as a defense alignment. You guys see any defense alignment? They got problems. We do. But that's what makes us special at the end of the day. Aaron Donald was Aaron Donald because he just said, I'm Aaron Donald and you can't stop me. And yeah. He had a Hall of Fame career. Just because he believed in that statement that you can't stop me. JJ Watt was the same way. I could keep going on. But that's the same mindset. If you can stop me, I'll let you stop me. Now there's some players, you know, they out there. Listen, offensive linemen get paid too. <laughs> Offense gets paid too. So I'm never gonna say that, you know, I stopped myself, but it's always that mentality that I have to put my best four foot on the field and I have to be that person that I can't be. Outside, what are some? Uh, what are you have like some pregame rituals you do? Oh, yeah, what's my what is what's usually my pregame ritual? So, again, I watch anime, I usually watch anime probably because I like, like, I like having this like clear mind. I'm not thinking about football, I'm not thinking about having emotions. I stay out, I honestly stay off of social media so. I know people are saying, like, good luck, this and this. I put myself on do not disturb immediately. When I wake up, do not disturb. Know my calendar. Watch my show. 30 minutes before I hit the bus, switching. Okay, it's time to go. 
it's time to put in the work. I got two two hours to get to. I have two hours until I, I hit the field. I have three hours to be on the field. I need to lock in for five to six hours of my life. That's going to change the rest of my life. All right, go. And then after that, I'm back to this normal freedom that you know. That's it. I, might, I, I eat a little bit of sweet, but uh, I know I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's crazy, man. So, like, yeah, imagine everybody, like, the has kind of something like that, like, get kind of in the zone. Like, that's a big thing. I mean, I mean, you're just energy and frequency wise, being around that many people and being like the focal point. I mean, that, all their energy is going into you guys. So, I mean, that's like, uh, that's just how, uh, how it works. So, I mean, that's like, I mean, that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be hard to sleep after that. <laughs> Like, I couldn't imagine, like, having to go to sleep that night, man. Like, And that's why you're, like, in my head, is that's why you have to be, like, you can't be already filled up with so much, right? So you get on the field, you are hyped and all stuff. What's going to happen to you? You got the crowd already amping all your hypeness. You're not going to be able to play fast. You're not going to be able to do what you really need to do. Now, you have those players who, you know, rah, rah, and all stuff. Me, I'm not. I'm the person that says, let me put a hey, God gave me a uh, ability and he gave me the opportunity to come out here and do something that I'm not allowed to do outside of the football field. Thank you. <laughs> so just take advantage of that. And then when the when the crowd fuels me, I know what's on. I know what's on. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, uh, do you want to throw any promo or anything before we get out of here, man? Like I think like we covered a lot of stuff. I'll just be like be like, oh, like the same question over and over again. He's like, I give him for like an hour mark. So is there anything you want to throw out like like from promo wise or anything people should know about you that I didn't ask or they want people to know there's been a lot of people watching. And I imagine a lot of people still watch this after Dude, promo wise, you know. Man, I wish I had my milk. It's called split, spike, split, spike. It's actually a really, really good energy caffeine milk. I'm definitely going to bring it. I'm definitely going to bring it to the show next time when we're on. It's really good. Um, best water out there for me and my personal opinion is Waikia. Been drinking that water probably since I've been in the league. Um, what else? Oh, this jacket right here. If you haven't seen it or never heard it before, it's called Hypeland. If you're an anime nerd, just like I am, it's very comfortable. This is actually a two XL, three XL. Don't know. <laughs> but yeah, and then of course, thank you for letting me be on the show, man. It's uh, truly a, a Dude, blessing and honor. Like at the end of the day, like I'm rocking with this. Like I, I like I like to do stuff like this. So anytime you want me back on the show or anytime you or I'm in St. Louis and y'all wanna, you know, kick it, let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know in your town. Like, yeah, you welcome back a million times. I mean, I mean so, I mean, yeah, like, I, I think uh, uh, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you uh, going backwards in your career, being here, you know. I think uh, I'll sign your community service papers for being here, you know. I appreciate it. What count as an hour? What count as an hour? But, uh, no, uh, no, I appreciate it for real. You guys are legends, man. And um, I think uh, I absolutely love uh, seeing people, like, make St. Louis look cool and, like, um, more than just some ridiculous shit, you know. Like, there's a lot of negative in St. Louis, and I think you guys are part of the positive. And I like seeing that, so I appreciate you and your team and like everyone involved in making that happen. You know, like uh, the guy selling popcorn there, even you know, it's every everybody that makes that happen, man. It's just like uh, it's great for the town, great revenue, great great uh, attitude, great like. Uh, I mean, you see people getting along, you know, and, and that's important. And I mean, it's bigger than football, is what I'm trying to say. So I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, so man. Man. Like, uh, I mean, football's great, but it's bigger. It's just bigger than football. Even. I think about all stars, so it's cool seeing that. And um, yeah, we'll have you back when after you get some games in your belt, so we could uh, either talk shit or say it's awesome. You know? I'm just joking. <laughs> it's a bit out of season, hey, man, but, hey, we gotta get you to a game. That's what we need to do. Yeah, yeah, I need to check out one of these games soon. Just let check me know, man. Listen, listen, just let me know. You got him? Yeah, I got you. All right, bro. No, I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, you might watch this. Uh, check, if you're in St. Louis, uh, check out uh, that Hawks at uh, the Dome. If you're not, check it out. Uh, check out their schedule and see when you can see them uh, beat your home team. And uh, <laughs> and see what's up? But uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I appreciate your freedom. Uh, I, I I I thank you a lot for coming on here. And, yeah, you're welcome back. In a couple weeks, we got some more stuff going on. You know? That sounds good, man. Y'all have a great night. Cool. Right on.
But, uh, thank you all for watching this. I know it's uh, Monday night, and uh, you know me personally, a lot of crazy stuff's been going on. So uh, I had to get back to work to kind of make sure I keep in a routine and stuff like that. And Freedom from the Battle Hawks joined us tonight. Absolute legend. Uh, tomorrow, I believe we have uh, Rick Ross at 8.30 Central. So we're doing this every week today. So several Fridays, trying not to take a break and stay with it. Um, thank you all for watching. God bless you. And I appreciate you.